VS Code in the Jupyter extension makes it easy to debug Python notebooks. Here I've already installed the extension, and I have a simple Python notebook that's using matplotlib to go and print out a simple graph. I can go and run this cell in my notebook just by clicking on the little run icon over here. You can see it's printed out that graph. But let's say I actually want to investigate the execution of this cell. I can go into the code cell itself and create a breakpoint just by clicking over in the gutter, much like you can in a normal code file. Now to actually start debugging, instead of hitting run, I'm going to go to the drop down over here and say debug cell. And you can see that I now have hit something, I've hit that breakpoint and I'm in a UI that's very similar to what you get if you're debugging a normal code file in VS Code, except I'm still inside of my notebook. So you can see here, I have paused on this line, it's showing me that I'm paused here. I can use all the normal notebook commands like step over, step into, all of those type of things. And then all of the normal debugging operations also work. So I can go and inspect values by hovering over them. So you can see here's the value for X, you can go and inspect Y for example. So I can really go and uh, explore the current state of the program. I can also use the debug console. So I'm going to open up my debug console down here in the panel. And in the debug console, I can start typing out expressions to evaluate them. So if I want to see the value for x, for example, you can see it's going to print out all of the values for x here. I could go and say, oh, what's the value of x at 100? So I can go and explore things in different ways. I can even do more complex expressions. So I could say np instead of sine. Let's do a cosine instead. And now that's going to print out um, what these uh, cosine values of x would be instead of the sine values. So you can go and evaluate expressions to also explore the state of the notebook. Now, once I'm done with the current debug session, I can just hit run or continue up here. And you can see that the cell has now been executed and I can go and continue on. So that's a quick introduction to how you can debug Jupyter Notebooks inside VS Code.